Hey, what's up, users? This is John at muse for You here to help you build awesome websites without code. And I have a really exciting video tutorial for you today. Uh, I'm going to be animating and morphing the characters from the new Suicide Squad movie, uh, which comes out Friday, August 5th. And it's from Warner Brothers, and the characters are from DC Comics. Um, so I'm going to be animating and morphing the characters with the Muse Morph SVG morphing widget found at museforyoushop.com. Um, so I have a, a sample site here, and if I go to File, Preview Page, and Browser, uh, we have the morphing there. We had Boomerang there. We have Slipknot. Uh, we have Killer Croc, and we have Deadshot, and we have Harley Quinn and we have Enchantress. These are all morphing with the Muse Morph widget. We have uh, Di Diablo, uh, we have Katana, and we have Joker. Okay, and I have it set to reverse play, so once it finishes playing forward, it'll play backward. So there we had Katana, Diablo, Enchantress, uh, we have Harley Quinn there, and we have Deadshot, and Killer Croc, and Slipknot and Boomerang. All right, so this is the, the morphing animation we'll be working on today in this video tutorial uh, using the Morph, Muse Morph widget and the characters from uh, the movie Suicide Squad. Um, so I thought this video tutorial was fitting uh, because I've just recently been invited to the Adobe Max conference as a guest speaker. Um, and if we go to max.adobe.com, um, and here's the the conference uh, website, the, the Adobe Max uh, website, and the conference is from November 2nd to November 4th um, in San Diego, California, and the pre-conference is from October 31st to November 1st. Um, and if we go to the speaker section here at the top, and I'll scroll down, um, and here we have web and app design, and I'm right here, John Ramos, Muse for You, and the title of my session is Adobe Muse hands-on power user tips and tricks. Uh, so I'm really excited to, to be doing my session um, and it's just gonna be a great conference and there's gonna be a lot of uh, other great speakers as well. Uh, but one thing I was really excited about is that Jared Leto is gonna be a keynote speaker. Um, he's an actor, musician, and director and he actually plays Joker in the new Suicide Squad movie. Um, I'll be a speaker as well. I'll be a guest speaker at Adobe Max and I hope to see you there. I'll be talking about Adobe Muse I just wanted to mention that and I'll continue with the video tutorial. Uh, so to get access to the Muse Morph widget, which we'll be using in this video tutorial, um, you just go to museforyoushop.com and you can click on the pop-up here. And then the Muse Morph SVG morphing widget is right here. Um, it's powered by GreenSox Morph SVG plugin uh, technology. So I'll click here. Um, and this is the only widget that's not included in the subscription uh, because it does require a shockingly green GreenSock membership, uh, but the good folks at GreenSock have allowed me to offer the widget in my shop as an individual widget. Um, there is going to be a Muse More Flight coming out very soon that will be in the subscription. Um, it will allow for basic morphing or basic SVG morphing, uh, but the Muse Morph here is more advanced morphing and you can do a bit more with the SVG morphing uh, with this widget. Um, so here you can get access to the widget and here you can click add to cart to purchase the widget um, You can check out the preview page and there's a video here on how to use it and the widget options here to the left as well All right, and if you did want access to all the widgets in the shop You can just click here on widgets and here you can click subscribe to get access to all widgets and any new widgets I come out with for 39 a year or if you'd like to subscribe with PayPal you can click here and subscribe with PayPal. Um, if you'd like to purchase the widgets individually, uh, you can click on the widget, and here you can click Add to Cart to purchase individually. Or again, you can get access to all widgets and any new widgets I come out with for 39 a year. Okay, so that's where you access the widget, and I'll continue with the tutorial. Uh, so the first thing I did uh, when animating these characters um, is I typed in into Google, I typed in uh, Suicide Squad Characters. Okay, and then I went to Images, and this image here showed up with all the characters from Suicide Squad. Okay, so what I did is I right-clicked uh, Save Image As and I saved it to my computer. Um, so I've already saved the image. Um, it's this image right here and it has this file name here. So what I did is I opened it with Adobe Illustrator uh, because we have to prepare the SVG elements in Adobe Illustrator before using the Muse Morph widget. Uh, so I'll right-click, open with Adobe Illustrator 
and here's the image. So I'll hit Command minus to zoom out. And the first thing I want to do is select the image. Um, and then I want to go to image trace. I'll click the drop down and I'll select three colors because I want to trace this image um, and have three colors in the end. Okay, so there we see we have three colors. We have green, uh, dark blue, and red, and it's traced the characters. So now I want to see the paths for all of these characters. So I'll click expand and we can see the paths, paths there. And then I'll click or I'll select the entire um, image. I'll right click and ungroup so I can delete certain parts from this image. So I'll just delete the background for each of these sections and each of these characters, just like that. And I'll delete this middle part here. And I want to delete the green section from the image. Um, so we're left with kind of empty parts within the SVG. And that'll look really good because it'll define the image when it's morphing. Um, so to delete all the green from each of these characters, um, I'll, what I'll do is I'll select this green color by selecting the eyedropper tool and uh, selecting the green color. And then I'll go to select, I'll go to same, and I'll select, I'll select fill color. Um, so it will select um, all the green that's in this image. And then I'll just hit delete and all the green has been deleted. Um, and then I just have to go in and delete a few other things. So for Diablo, um, I wanna delete the skull inside the flames um, so that we can see the skull here when the SVG is morphing. Um, there we go, and I'll just delete that there. Um, and then for Joker, I wanna delete the red inside his mouth there, or teeth uh, there. And uh, for Deadshot, I'll just delete a few of the red here to kind of define some of the elements um, for the for the character here. Um, so that's it, I've, uh, I've got all the characters. And the next thing I wanna do, if we go to our layers panel, um, and I drop down the layers, we see that the that each of these characters has a lot of paths. Um, and for that, for the Muse Morph, um, you want to convert the SVG elements into a compound path so it doesn't have any groups or um, doesn't have multiple paths. Um, and to convert an SVG element into a compound path, you just select the element, um, then go to Object, Compound Path, and Make. All right, and I'll do this for all of the characters, Object, Compound Path, and Make. Select this character character here, object, compound path, make. Uh, this character here, object, compound path, and make. And then this character here, object, compound path, and make. And then the shortcut for compound path is command eight. So I'll just hit command eight on my keyboard for the rest of the characters. Okay, so there we have all of the characters converted to compound paths. And if we go to our layers panel, we can see that each character has its own layer and doesn't have any group, groups or paths um, with it. Okay, so that part is all done. And if you don't see your layers panel in Adobe Illustrator, you can go to window and click on layers. Um, so we have all our characters. And the next thing I wanna do is kind of reorder the characters in, in the sequence I want, I want them to morph. Um, so the Joker here, um, I want him to morph at the end. And uh, Deadshot and Harley Quinn, I'm gonna put uh, together one after another. So here we have uh, Deadshot and then we have Harley Quinn. Yep, just like that. And because we have 10 characters, the SVG or the Muse Morph widget only allows for nine characters or nine SVG elements and eight morphs. So there's gonna be one character that we're not going to add to the morphing sequence. Um, and that's gonna be, be Rick Flag. So I'll click on Rick Flag, and then I'll select this eye icon so that um, it won't be exported in the final image. Um, so let me just go through, uh, let's see, I think I want, yeah, I'll have Boomerang as the first character down here. And then we have Slipknot, and then we have, yep, Deadshot, Harley Quinn, De uh, Killer Croc, and Katana I'll put before Joker there. And we have Enchantress and uh, Diablo there. Okay, so I've ordered all the characters in the sequence that I want them to, to morph. Um, so the next thing I wanna do is rename each of these characters, morph one through eight. And the last morph, I'll say, I'll name it last morph. So for this first character, I'll double click and I'll say morph one. For the second char character, I'll double click, say morph two. Third character, morph three. Fourth character, I'll say morph Four, fifth character, 
or actually we're going to skip uh, this character here so we'll say morph three here and then we'll say morph four then we'll say morph morph five okay morph six morph seven morph eight and the last svg element the ninth svg element is last morph okay so we've renamed all the characters from morph one through morph eight and the ninth character is last morph um so we've basically done everything for the characters so now what what i want to do is align all these characters on top of each other in the center of the artboard so i'll select all of these characters and then i'll align center and align vertical center just like that and then we want to make the artboard a little bit bigger so i'll say 500 by 600 just like that and i'll do uh, align center again looks good and now i'll go to file uh, export and i'll say svg and i'll export and we don't actually have to save the svg image we can just click on show code here and then i'll hit command a to copy and then command or command a to select all the code and then command c to copy okay and then i can go into uh, adobe muse so i'll go here in adobe muse i'll go to file new site and i'll click ok and i'll double click on the home page and then i'll go to object insert html and I'll hit Command V to paste, and then I'll click OK, just like that. And here are the characters, and I'll make them a little bit larger. So right now, it just looks like a kind of a mess of SVG elements on top of each other. But once I bring the Muse Morph widget, um, it'll all work really nice. So to bring in the Muse Morph widget, I'll go to the Library panel. Um, if you don't see the Library panel, you can go to Window and click on Library. And here I'll type in Muse Morph. And then I want to bring in the ad first uh, here, first at the top of my website. And I'll place it right there. And then I'll bring in the Muse Morph sequence. And that's basically it. I don't have to do much with the Muse Morph widget uh, because the element ID, we've already assigned it uh, Morph 1 through Morph 8. So I just have to enable all of the morphs for all of the characters because I want all eight morphs to morph. Okay morph seven so i'm just enabling here all the morphing uh animations all right so that looks good there and we're going to have it re infinitely repeat and we'll have it reverse play uh, once it finishes playing forward um, and then we'll add a delay of one so we can see boomerang at the beginning um, so now i'll go to file preview page and browser there we have boomerang uh, we have slipknot we have deadshot harley quinn Killer Croc, Enchantress, Diablo, Katana, and Joker. And then it reverses again, plays backwards. Looks good. So I just want to do a few things with the motion here. Um, I'm just going to add to each of the characters, I'm going to add one second in between so we can see the character and it's not as fast when it goes to the next character. So for the offset amount, I'm just going to say one for all of them. just like that. And I'm also gonna set the easing type to ease and out to have a little bit uh, more smooth easing when it comes in and um, it eases out as well. Okay, so that's all I have to do for the widget. So now if I go to file, preview page and browser, there we have uh, boomerang, slipknot, and we can see there's a one second offset or one second delay uh, before it goes on to the next uh, morph looks good there we have enchantress we just had killer croc uh, diablo and katana and joker all right and if i did want to add one second delay before it repeated i'd just add one second here in the repeat delay so that at the end when joker goes back um, to katana to the character um, there'll be a one second delay there as well and i'll go to file preview page and browser um, there we go. So that's basically it for morphing the characters from the new Suicide Squad movie. Um, this was done with the Muse Morph widget found at museforyoushop.com. So to access this widget, you simply go to museforyoushop.com. 
and here you can click on the pop-up and the Muse Morph SVG morphing widget is right here. It's powered by Greensox Morph SVG plugin technology. So I'll click here. And this is the only widget that's not included in the muse for You subscription, uh, because in order to use the Morph SVG plugin, uh, you do need a shockingly green Greensock membership. Uh, but the good folks at Greensock have allowed me to offer the widget as an individual widget in my shop. Um, there is going to be a Muse Morph Lite coming out very soon that will be in the subscription. Um, it will allow for basic morphing or basic SVG morphing, uh, but the Muse Morph here is more advanced morphing and you can do a bit more with the SVG morphing uh, with this widget. If you did want access to all the widgets, you can just click on widgets here and here you can click subscribe to get access to all widgets and any new widgets I come out with for $39 a year. Or if you'd like to subscribe with PayPal, you can click here and subscribe with PayPal. Uh, if you'd like to purchase the widgets individually, you can just click on the widget. And here you can click Add to Cart to purchase individually. Or again, you can get access to all widgets and any new widgets I come out with for $39 a year. So that's it for this video tutorial. Again, I do this to help you build awesome websites without code. Uh, if you like this video tutorial, you can subscribe below. And also in the Show More section below are links to other resources and links to muse for you shop Dot com. So again, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video tutorial. Thank you.